So since I did the unboxing video, uh, the company that I talked about in that that asked me to do the offices uh, that made me start thinking about the gutter vac in the first place have uh, come back to me to get theirs done before they come back to work properly and get their car parked for. So I'm here today to do that. I've got my mate with me over there, Elijah. He's giving me a hand for a day and I'm going to be using the Mighty Predator on it and I'm going to be using the Constant Flow as well to wash it all down. Because it's rained all weekend, I'm just using the sponge filter on the Predator. Uh, so, because it'll all be wet and sludgy up there, so that should do the best job of that. Also, since the last video I've done, I think, I've got the gutter vac bag for the hose. And that's really good, it holds a 10 meter hose, no problem. Let's get cracking on this and see how we get on. So didn't actually get much footage of that being done. Um, came over really grey and then started raining. So I've got all the gutters sucked out. I've got three bags of rubbish come out of them. Uh, there was a bit of a gutter garden going on. So uh, there's the three bags there. Three bags of sludge from the gutters that can go in their bin. So. Lige is carrying on with the uh, fascias, with the constant flow. Uh, he's getting on well with that. Um, he's working around here with that. Looking like he's struggling a little bit, but I think that's just his face. Uh, and now I'm just packing the vac away. Um, once I've done that, I'll give him a hand with the gutter. So, what uh, gutter vac systems recommend is, once you've finished with the vac, uh, suck a bucket full of water up it just to clean down all the insides of the pipes and inside the hose. So uh, I'll get that done and then we'll carry on with the constant flow and getting the fascias washed off. So I managed to knock the bucket and the camera and everything over doing that. But that sucks it out really quick. It only took like a couple of seconds to empty that bucket and that was with one motor on. So think how much sucking power that's got with the three motors. So I'm going to strip it all down now, uh, clean it all off. I'm going to lube the bowls up with um, some dried PTFE spray and give them a wipe down. Put it all away, make sure it's kept clean and nice ready for next time. So let's get cracking with that.
so we had just about every sort of weather that it could do throw at us today sunshine rain thunder uh, all sorts but uh, yeah We've got it all done. So it took us about six hours, which is 50 meters. Uh, didn't take very long at all with the Predator. The Predator was absolutely awesome. Really just sucked out those gutters. There was some quite big lumps of uh, garden in there, um, some weeds and stuff growing in there. That sucked them out, no problem at all, but really got it done. Uh, it hadn't been done for about 10 years, so uh, there's a few stains on it. Uh, we did it all over with a constant flow. That was awesome as usual. Got it up looking really good. But uh, it was hard work because it was up a three storey and it's probably a two foot thick fascia and soffit. So, well, two foot deep soffit. So, there was a lot of scrub in there, but it did come up really nicely. So, hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now.